Before we start, I want to define the friction coefficient. This is given the symbol C F, and it's equal to the wall shear stress divided by the dynamic pressure. So that's equal to tau W, the wall shear stress, divided by a half rho V squared, where V is the average velocity in the pipe. And this chapter is based on an experiment at Cambridge University in which we allow the flow to develop fully before reaching the test section. And because the flow has developed fully, there's no build-up of fluid momentum in a control volume in the test section. This means that there is a nice relationship between the wall shear stress and the pressure drop down the pipe. So we're going to make a model to work out that relationship. It's a model based on a large control volume that has radius R from the center of the pipe to the internal wall. And the pressure on the left-hand face of this control volume is P. The pressure on the right-hand face is P plus partial dP partial X delta X where delta x is the width of the control volume, and the shear stress from the wall onto the fluid within the control volume has symbol tau w. So the shear stress acts over the perimeter of this control volume and gives a force that is 2 pi big R times delta x, that's the perimeter, times the shear stress tau w. The way I've drawn it, the force is in the negative x direction, hence the minus sign here. The force on the control volume due to the pressure is the pressure difference times the area over which it acts. The area is pi big R squared, and the pressure difference is partial dP by dx times delta x. And because we have reached steady state within the pipe, there's no accumulation of momentum within the control volume, i.e. no acceleration, and so this is equal to zero. Now we use the fact that p is a function of x only to go from the partial derivative, partial dp by dx, to the ordinary derivative, dp by dx. And we rearrange the expression in terms of tau w, the shear stress. And now we can substitute in the definition of friction coefficient, cf, and we get that cf is equal to minus r over rho v squared times dp by dx. And whether you have a minus sign or a plus sign here, depends on whether you define tau wall as being positive or negative. In other words, whether you consider it to be the force of the fluid on the pipe or the force of the pipe on the fluid. And as long as you're always consistent, it doesn't matter which you choose. 